in three, two, one. <laughs> Screw that up. I'm going to do an eight day review of the Moto G Play and what my thoughts are so far. And uh, just a whole lot of stuff I want to try and cover here. So I'm just going to put the box aside. I'm not doing an unboxing because pretty much comes with a power cord, comes with a 10 watt charging brick, a bunch of paperwork. And yeah, we, we don't need to worry about that. We're here for the phone. So here's the phone after 10 days. And uh, let's just start off with the back. Let's get the, uh, the elephant out of the room, as they say. Yeah, it's plastic. It's plastic. Plastic uh, frame around the side. Uh, do a little walk through here. Uh, we'll start with the power button and the uh, volume rockers. Uh, rigid power buttons. I will say, uh, quite click clicky. Uh, and uh, yeah, for for the the aficionado here, it's got to have clicky buttons. We got them right here. Going to the top. Yes, we still have a headphone jack. Uh, some of us don't, you know, dismiss it. I say still should be an option. I'll cover why later on. Uh, a microphone on the top, on the side, is the SIM, tra a SIM tray, and get to a memory card. Hey there, I'm Mike Dixon. Uh, as known as my channel is Joker Tech. I'm coming at you today, hopefully with this video, trying a new camera angle. Got microphone here. So tell me how you th what you think of that part. So... Moto G Play. It is September 6th. And um, I wanted to talk about using the Moto G Play on US Mobile and the whole drive of all this series ca uh, called the Basics was to get you to help people get on a half decent phone plan using a what I was hoped to be a half decent phone. Now this is more pertaining to the phone and versus the service and you know if you haven't left the haven't clicked off I'll just make it short and sweet it, it's 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 not the best I'll just say that and here's the reasons why but on the other hand I struggle with saying that uh, touch Oof. I, I don't know if I can describe Okay, of course, the gestures are going to work now. But uh, sometimes when you're not trying to do something, it takes a while to react. Now, I don't want to blame the service, though. Now I'm on my home Wi-Fi, and it works pretty good. But during the time I'm on my vacation, there will be times I would try and use the phone, and it was the lag and the... And the the lag <laughs> the lag on the phone was frustrating at times uh, trying to get the lag on trying to open the camera app to take a picture it was really lengthy to, to me uh, be honest with you there were times I just didn't pick up the phone I didn't use it I used my uh, my pixel phone or I have an iPhone but I found myself stopping myself saying, I'm supposed to be using this phone here. I'm supposed to be doing a review of this phone. And when I left to go to North Carolina, the phone was okay. I'll just leave it at that. But as more apps I had to add, I put, you know, I didn't have all my social stuff on there. I added a few other apps. I've added a few, you know, I now have the full suite of the preferred uh, social apps on here uh, I definitely notice a lag uh, definite issues with uh, with the RAM it only has three gigs of RAM but now I'm talking techie here let me talk about for the person that I would could could I recommend this phone to and and I really you know I know that some of the stuff that's going on here I personally feel with this phone with his Moto G play is you know, it's creeping up there in the, in the memory section.
try and edit this part out. I, after all said and done, 32 gigs of storage. 32 gigs of storage. I don't know if it's shit. I'm trying to. Here we go. 32. Uh, 24 is left. I really like seven gigs of, of internal storage. Anyway, uh, my my thought process was that this phone is is getting um, very slower. Uh, lag is another word I'm constantly using here, trying to describe that. I, I wrote down. See, I, I'm probably putting sections up in this video. Uh, a, 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 I have another video on this, but. It has a fingerprint sensor. There's the other thing I forgot to mention while I had the back here. Yes, it is a physical fingerprint sensor. And as you can see, uh, do this again. It, it works really good. Uh, pretty much typical all Moto phones that had a fingerprint sensor in the back. Uh, in line with the Pixel, uh, I find my Pixel to be equally as fast and, and accurate. I just knew there were things I was missing. Uh, see, the, the screen. The screen is horrible. The screen is horrible in, in direct sunlight. Uh, at home, in the dark, you know, in lighting like I'm in now, it looks bright and vibrant, but as soon as you get outside, forget it. It's done. But uh, it, it's, it's great. It seems very punchy, very vibrant. But once you get outside with this phone, uh, that's the Achilles heel, I could say. Because uh, I find myself doing this and seeing how much more I can push it. Um, battery life is amazing. 5,000 milliamp battery is, is killer. I push this phone to the max. Put it as my GPS going down. Uh, to our first stop in North Carolina and it still had probably 40 some percent and that was all GPS going down uh, doing some social stuff doing s stuff in general in a one day time still had 40 percent um, let's see here uh, going to get techie here uh, the Snapdragon 460 chipset that's in it it really shows uh, the ugliness I am not a 400 series chipset Snapdragon 400 series uh, fan at all I play Angry Birds <laughs> I play Angry Birds this is my uh, this is my go to to the last thing I do tonight I'll play Angry Birds and go to bed and why I'm playing Angry Birds uh, on right now is I hopefully I can demonstrate the transition transit transitioning that goes on at times when playing this game. So let's see if I can demonstrate real fast if it's possible. Uh, the gestures. I'm sticking with the gestures for me. And of course now it's making me like a liar. And I'll just clear all for now. I'm finding myself clearing all to try and help with the lag. Uh, the gestures is, is hit or miss. Again, coming from the Pixel to, to this phone, I'm like, the gestures are almost the same. But pretty much are the same, actually. But damn, it's just horrible at times. Uh... Software I have down software is a concern as far as support here uh, Still no Android 11 on the device and it's now September uh, the cameras are hit or miss and And it's more of a eh, I'll give it more like a hit you can get a, a, an okay picture out of it uh, But don't zoom in <laughs> don't zoom in to get the particulars uh, in, in, in this too, I don't have any minutes, uh, oh, six minutes, seven minutes only. Uh, getting, now I, I'm just reading my notes here. Uh, who's this phone for? First off, I would tell the person, don't do the gestures. Use the three buttons on the bottom. Secondly, uh, not for somebody who is a, a power user at, at the, at the, no. I'm very, um, 
somebody's a light user. Somebody's a light user. Somebody coming from a flip phone. I have my friend Joe in mind. He, I just, I, I kind of premise, if I was to set my friend Joe up on this phone, uh, he could potentially use it. Anybody else? Now, Joe from flip phone, he's not tech savvy at all. Uh, he would struggle in the beginning uh, using this phone. It's just my friend's nature. You know, some people are into, don't mind, you know, how can I say, embracing technology. And he he's he would struggle with th this phone, but, but he will come around. I couldn't give this phone to another f fr a friend uh, that is, he teeters on the power user side. He, he, loads it up with apps he's constantly playing okay games but not like graphic intense games but he's playing games he's watching youtube he's watching tv shows on it uh he's you know he's communicating uh, with people uh, so I, I i i don't know how i can say boy this is a great phone this is not it's 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 a shame. I was really putting. I was really hoping to, you know, here's a phone for hundred now going for one hundred seventy dollars and using U.S. Mobile, which is a, and the cards over there. Anyway, uh, using U.S. Mobile can't use it as a prop. U.S. Mobile while I was in down there was really great for the most part, but so was T-Mobile. T-Mobile on my especially on my on here uh on here let's try it again <laughs> t-mobile on my uh pixel 4a 5g uh that that worked surprisingly better than my last trip down uh so but you can't go wrong you you know i had service i had still good service heading down in places where i knew where service was going to be really touchy uh with with t-mobile so can I recommend this phone to them? I, I said this before. I'm I'm on the fence. I really am on the fence. I would, you know, if it was somebody that I could, you know, say, hey, listen, I'll sell you this phone, but let's put it, let's let's set you up and try it out for two weeks. And if you like it, then we'll talk about the money part. That's how I'm going to work. Probably work this unless I sell it on Swappa. So, uh, I know I might have rambled. I just wanted to get my senses. I had been thinking about this a lot on my trip down. Um, so, yeah. Moto, Moto G Play, not, not, a, not a home run, and, but not a complete failure. So, if you like today's video, give it a thumbs up. I haven't done this in a while. If you don't like today's video, tell me why in the comments. Uh, subscribe. Thumb up the video, share, and all that good stuff. I'll see you guys in the next, next video.